complicated. All right, so we're moving right along here. Yep, perfect. We have less lag, less spectators, and nothing has happened yet. Although we did confirm that uh, I think Awesome is on a collegiate star league team for her um, for her school. For those of you who don't know, a collegiate star league is like the pro league, uh, but it's instead of companies and uh, corporations backing them, it's just based on wherever you go to school. Uh, awesome spams. She's a notorious spammer, so don't take that as an indication of uh, ridiculous spamming. Holy crap! Five hundred spamming. That's like that's like broken keyboard spamming. <laughs> like return refresh rate on keyboard max out through like hardware kind of spamming. Who used to do that? Somebody used to just set like their set their initial one of their worker keys to that and just and just hold the button down and just max APM at like five hundred or a thousand or something like that. Yeah, that's quite a lot of APM there, but hey, whatever. <laughs> uh, as soon as she gets the barracks up, she'll be putting that on four and then be switching back and forth. If yeah. she still does that, um, no, it's on three. What have I done? <laughs> um, the earlier scout is going to be going down by Khan. Has yet to put down a spawning pool uh, or an expansion. This expansion. might be an expansion, though. Uh, it's drone. Yeah, looks like it. And checking out, make sure he's not getting cheesed by Awesome. Awesome doing a very normal build. I approve of. Get 400 APM. <laughs> <laughs> and there we have that hatchery going down for Khan. So, shaping up to be a normal game. The most normal thing in the world is happening. So, so okay. Uh, now I want to see he's going to get his spawning pool up. Great. And gas game uh, coming up soon. Hopefully that should be fine. Stealing a gas, in fact. Uh, that's always an odd... Yeah, I actually love doing that. I love harassing with the worker until it's almost dead, and then sliding into home at an extractor and waiting till it's almost done and healing up a little bit, then canceling and then running around somewhere. It's a great way to prolong the life, or you can just let it finish too. Yeah, which it looks like Khan is doing. It slows down tech, so um, Terran isn't hampered as much as Protoss with the gas steel, and we have a bunker uh, being placed up. Although I think that. Um, Ooh, bringing down another SCV. Definitely going to want to finish this uh, bunker. Although Khan's worker fighting here. Uh oh. Pulling out several drones. And now with the different worker AI, uh, I think Khan will have a much easier time of uh, preventing this bunker oh, from. Oh, he just finishes it. Just in time for the Marine to show up. That's no good at all. Let's see if you can block that Marine. Oh, the Marine no. gets in with tiny hit points. Wow. Okay. These are going to be able to do anything they should get out of there. Uh, oh, oh, the old green bunker rush. I guess this will get a lot more popular now that we don't have any more uh, Reapers coming these days. Alright, so Zerglin's coming out. Uh, drones attacking. Will they be able to take it down? It's now burning, so it should it should go down. Another SCV coming. Uh, I doubt we'll see another bunker there. Too many Zergs, uh, Zerglings out, but wow! Actually, it's a... Uh, Really good micro, really good stop control micro on the Marines there. It's definitely putting that 300 APM to use there for sure. Yep, still 300. Uh, putting out a factory, no doubt, for Hellions now uh, because she's forced uh, Khan to make a lot of Zerglings, so fast Hellions um, or fast Banshees uh, will really, you know, do well against Khan. And definitely that's perhaps what we're going for here. We'll see. This is uh, definitely a, a clever, kind of aggressive opening build here. I, I like seeing Terrans play like this. This is a very kind of Korean pro thing to be doing. Um, you know, I don't see a lot of ladder games that go with this kind of early, just a handful of Marines kind of harass against a Zerg player. That's a very ballsy thing to do. Which is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like this, I like this symbol that Awesome has. Reminds me of some kind of like uh, Bohr, Rutherford, uh, Electron. Yeah, a little uh, <laughs> early atom, uh, atom mo molecule representation there. Which is which is not correct. Uh, Niels Bohr in the house. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but early yes, you, 18th, 20th century, you know. But yeah, uh, definitely uh, Niels Bohr. That's, you're definitely correct. Uh, but we are going to be seeing uh, Hellions with Infernal Preigniter. So we're going to be seeing a Viking coming up first going to try to pick off some overlords and going to deny scouting so that Khan's caught off guard with that medevac filled up with Hellions coming in because that's definitely a, 
uh, tactic that's been coming into favor as of late. As we discussed earlier, Reapers are barely used, uh, while Hellion still can serve a function. Yeah, Viking First is great if you if you utilize it. If you have the APM, you can, you know, just getting that single Viking out can be so annoying to Zerg because it doesn't do anything to their base, but just running around and picking off uh, overlords because a good Zerg will have overlords all over the map. Just kind of wander around and kill one or two of them, and it really screws up an early Zerg because uh, you tend to be really tight on supply early on. That's right. Uh, we've got three Hellions out. We've got a Medivac. Might be seeing three Medivacs, two Marine drop. Uh, bailing... Bailing Nest finished, uh, I was thinking maybe a Bailing Bus simply because uh, that wall is made up with two Supply Depots, so not the best uh, thing to do. Oh, and that Viking is going to catch that Overseer at the top right of the map. Uh, we'll be able to take it down before it gets too much of a scout on. Uh, and now that Medivac taking a very, uh, very nice route along the bottom right heading straight towards that expansion, but a spine crawler being put into position. Khan should be in a pretty good division, uh, be in a pretty good uh, <laughs> position to defend. Yeah, I like, uh, I like Khan's setup again here. You know, very little on the way of army. Um, you know, a handful of lanes kind of running around. And that's about it. Oh, now going for all the uh, the Hellion drop just out of nowhere. Even caught me a little bit by surprise there. Uh, very effective, although the Lings perfectly blocked it, frankly. Uh, killing two of the Hellions. Uh, dropping again in the back here, getting a few more kills. Let's see if we can see the kills on these Hellions. One kill on one of them. Um, not the most effective, but, you know, not bad. Uh, again, uh, Hellion's going down and going to lose that dropship. So uh, really good defense on the part of Khan. That's a, that's a very annoying attack vector, and I think it's not bad at all for him on that. Yeah, fantastic. Bring that uh, that spine collar down to the natural. That's usually what gets hit first. I don't believe we. Yeah, we just saw a layer coming up, so uh, we'll be in time to. Wait a second. That layer's been up for quite a while because an overseer was there. Uh, we are seeing banshees. Right. Uh, my my line of thought was just that he'll need a uh, overseer to defend against uh, awesome's banshees. Here comes a little Ling push on the front of Awesome's base, but that siege tank is more than enough to take care of it. Big bunch of Marines there. Just a big old Marine tank push right here. Marine tank push with a single Banshee. Uh, that's a brutal, brutal attack. Uh, I, lo I love, you know, I see this occasionally, but I love seeing Banshees just as part of an average army. Like, they go and harass a little bit, but then when they actually attack, they just bring the Banshees right along. And, and just kind of bifurcating the attack on two levels like that and having Banshees hit so hard just does wonders. Like, they're great against Roaches, they're great against Hydras, you know, if they can get the shots off without getting shot, of course. And Banelings being morphed in. A handful of Banelings here, but unfortunately they're in front of the grass. I would have liked to have seen them morph behind the tall grass. I bet Awesome saw that. Maybe. We'll see. It looks like maybe a single Marine going up. Nope. Maybe not. All right, probably trying to bait those Marines cl coming closer. Uh, <laughs> ooh, might be able to take out those two uh, mules. Nope, instead goes off towards the Marines. Not bringing those bailings, though, as I uh, would have thought. And using an engineering bay to block off the back, but it's going to get spotted and taken out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still not bad, though. Uh, setting some Marines, no doubt, to their certain death. But, uh, yeah, that was a decent trade-off. One final Bailing going to come in and going to get sniped before it can do any damage. And I like putting that, that Engineering Bay back there, because uh, that just blocks off that back perfectly. We see that a lot in, uh, in the GSL and other pro games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a smart move. Uh, Terran players should take note of that. That's a great trick on this map. Engineering Bay in general is just a great wall-off thing. If you, need, if you need just like a bulky thing that doesn't cost a lot, Engineering Bay is your best bet. Yep, if you want to block a expansion, engineering bays are also good ideas. Um, bunker is better, but you don't always have the chance to, to finish a bunker in order to, to salvage it later. And here comes a big push here. Ton of lings, ton of roaches. This is a pretty decent army against this uh, against Awesome's uh, tank push, but he's just got to make sure he's got the right uh, the right consistency as he gets in here. Oh, and the Marines just take it right in the face. That's exactly what he wants. Now the Roaches need to clean up these tanks and get it nice and close. Uh, doing a great job at that. It looks like he's taking all... Awesome, she's taking all the workers off the line, and just the tanks unseaging are just barely going to be able to fight off the rest of those. And even with the resupply coming, it looks like fought it off just a little bit, although it took a lot of marine damage there. Kind of an even trade of armies, I think. 
Yeah, Khan overall has lost a few more unit uh, worth, but that generally seems to be the case that uh, Zerg tends to lose more units than most. Uh, there is a Banshee now starting to harass, I think, or two Banshees in the middle of the map. Just sitting around. She's had them for a while, but they've just been kind of hanging out in the base there. Haven't really there, gone and done anything yet. There is one in the middle of the map, though. Oh, in the middle of the map. Yep, look at that. You're okay. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to stick to your camera as much as possible, uh, just so we have like continuity and fluidity in our uh, cast. But sure thing, uh, you know I I also try to infer stuff from the mini map, which doesn't always work <laughs> out that well. So third expansion from Zerg, uh, obviously that's the best thing to do. Three creep tumors, love that. I think that's the optimal creep spread. Uh, we have three of them going out together, or so Psy has me to believe. Uh, yeah, not really sure why Awesome isn't moving out with uh, these Banshees, and not really sure why she hasn't repaired her tanks. Tanks are really, really important here uh, to defend against a lot of Zerglings and Banelings. Yeah, I really would love to see her spend some of that extra APM. Now, she's got... Uh, oh, I kind of like that. She had the single uh, Banshee just went and killed that whole front row of uh, Creep Tumors up there. And Maybe we're going to try that a second time, because that's actually a great move on, on this kind of a setup here. And single having, Banshee, single Viking going out, just kind of doing some cautious poking here. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. I like the, the mixture of the two, although she needs to be careful because uh, manages to, to sneak away. Viking here, poking. You just got to be careful with this kind of detailed micro that you don't get lost in the micro and kind of forget about your macro because it's really easy to sit here and want to make these two units be perfectly effective. Uh, but uh, luckily she's got the whole rest of her army moving out right now from her base. Uh, even repairing SCVs, falling along some of those wounded tanks. Uh, this Viking with four kills is heading home now, but it looks like her main army is going to push them to the center of the map now. Yeah, I like and, uh, how many tanks she has. Uh, she'll be able to to set up and defend uh, her expansion. I believe she she wants to expand to the gold. She has that command center up and ready, uh, but she might want to try to take out all the overlords first so that it doesn't get spotted. Or she's just pushing on the uh, the left side, which, yep, that's what she's going to be doing. Yeah, again, just using this whole Banshees as part of the main army tactic, which is which is nice. I mean, it works really well, but usually only after you've exhausted harassing with them, and I didn't really see her do too much Banshee harassing right now. But they don't have Cloak or anything, so they're just going to sit here and just attack from the front lines, which is not bad, because there, frankly, aren't any Hydras or anything like that. All right, so tanks are set up, getting ready for a good push here. Yeah, Mutilus coming out to uh, harass in Awesome's main base. But all those SCVs, really not a great target because there's no more minerals left. Um, and Awesome is busy yeah. is busy uh, fighting a battle. Uh, looks like the Zerg's forcing it cleaned up those tanks, doing huge amounts of damage. Nine kills, five, three, pushing even farther now. More tanks, the Banshees, the, the Bio Ball... Uh, I'm really not sure that this mass zergling response from Khan is the answer. Yeah, that's brutal. I mean, just just having the, the Banshees and the Siege Tanks just slamming the army like that with all the Marines just kind of absorbing the in-betweens, uh, just not, not going to be enough. Needs a lot more. Even these Banshees here are just kind of wrecking this expansion, taking down this Queen. Siege Tanks here are just cleaning up. Oh, workers charging Siege Tanks. You never really want to see that. No, those got obliterated right away. I think Awesome's going to clean this up right about now or uh, very soon. Yeah, she, Khan, still a lot of uh, Zerglings. Bringing back Mutas now. Mutas are a good choice against tanks, uh, for sure. Mutas are good against tanks and Banshees, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything that can't hit back, that's generally a good target for you. Um, um, it looks like uh, Awesome might just respond by attacking. Uh, yeah, the Mutas can attack without you know being fired back but might as well do as much damage as possible because retreating at this point isn't really an option